Oke okay guys, kita meski ke game pertama match ketiga ya antara Big Fam melawan RSG Philippines. Kita lihat aja Vincent di sini dia pakai Baxia, Irat pakai Julianto guys ya. Oh, Baloiski dia pakai Hellcard cuy. So they're sitting quite comfortably, but Geek Fam ended up dropping their game against Homeboys. Lu tu emang baloi, guys ya. Yeah, seems like speaking of harassments here, they have a lot of things that they have to bring to the table, like all cards on the table. They bring in the pocket strategy from Baloiski, and hopefully he is going to be able to dictate the tempo here because RSGPH they're going all out. Guess what? They're looking at Baloiski. They force a little bit of reactions coming in. He's taking some damage, but. Seems like they're just not letting him do his own thing right now. So RGPH are doing okay. I just realized that Baloiski actually is going execute as well. So he <laughs> he is very much going into this game with the aim of picking people off, which could be difficult. There's quite a number of heroes on the RSGPH side that won't easily go down. I, I don't know if he's gonna go for Sky Piercer or not, but if he <laughs> does so rather early, RSGPH is gonna Baloiski have a is. very, very difficult time here. Especially for Aqua. If he's not inside his demonic uh the de de descent sorry, mm -hmm. dominant this Descent and in, in particular, he is going to be in a little bit of trouble here because once Beloisky gets in, he Beloy. is going to silence somebody and kill someone. But in this case, Beloisky is going to fall. He got caught up all by himself, no backup whatsoever. And RGBH gets a very, very nice kill. First blood by them, and immediately they're gobbling up on Gobs as well. He doesn't have his four, so no final slash to kind of extend those fights. And now with the Aurora out coming in, RGBH is looking for the ceiling. Yes, kick bam, class. The turtle, and they will back out instead, unless they want to force it. They just got <laughs> the four, not. but nope. Looks like they are gonna try and harass the purple buff here. Vincent, he Ooh, needs back up. Oh, here he comes. Battle Diesel comes in. Vincent getting completely <laughs> shredded by Iran. Dark Knight yeah. Falls comes in, but RSGPH is still trying to steal <laughs> the purple buff away. They finally nice take it away, but at the expense of Luing Nibor. But Iran again, a double kill for him for RSGPH. Uh, and this is the risk, right, of playing those assassin roamers. Yes, you can be annoying, but you really gotta play it well, because you just don't have the health pool to be able to match up against heroes like that Grok. And because of that, we see Beloisky getting picked up twice in basically the same fight because of how long that extended. Vincent got a may level, have secured guess, yeah. the turtle, but giving up three kills already is not a good sign, especially since Irad was able to get quite a lot of EXP from that to immediately surpass Vincent in farm speed you know well done to RGPH man like they utilize that seven second time frame so well whenever Iran has a spell they commit to the fight and Geek Fam wasn't able to break the tempo because of that but nevertheless here even though they've got two kills here the economy is not that far off between both this team here so I was expecting more of a huge swing for RGPH unless uh, yo, he's uh, gonna try to do a little bit of harassment for Irad but Irad says I don't care I'm just gonna shake it off and uh, I'm gonna move away but now oh, here comes Kamim a nice side step coming in from Irad with the so enhanced swords here he's gonna be able to get out and Geek Fam will le be left with nothing once more. My primary concern in this game for Geek Fam is that while yes, they do have a pretty solid late game scaling with the Moscov, RSG yeah, just has cool. a lot more DPS like potential overall once they have items under their belt. And that means that if Geek Fam are not able to make things happen with this Baxia Hellcrit combo early on, they'll end up losing a lot in terms of scaling as the game progresses. Yeah, speaking of scaling as well, Beloisky used his first stinger, so he's gonna try to he threw a line, he fights Ooh. too! Yeah. Under the brush, wall charge! Here Lock comes the drop, the ah, boy, Baloi, he needs to get out! Dark Knight's Ford has committed, but he might bleed out, and yes, he will to the Terrisla. <laughs> Nibor flickers out of there, Set and there. RSGPH, they're looking to commit a turtle, and they will he get it once more, yeah. a two for nothing exchange. And they're looking for even more as well. Gobs, he needs to get out, he's completely trapped as well. The spear does not connect to back him up, but RNG says, okay, it's enough. Two kills, one turtle, job's done. A very efficient play there from RSG Philippines. It did look like they wanted to proceed for more, but I like that they had the discipline to decide, okay, this is not the time to try and push more advantage. We already got more than enough. 
and we can see the weakness of Geek Fam's lineup here. Because of the fact that they have to go for a Baxia to make up for the lack of tankiness on the Hellcurt Roam, a lot of their setup is he heavily dependent on Gobs on this Arlet. And if he is not able to get the final slash out, or even worse, if RSG finds the better initiation timing first, there really is no way for Geek Fam to stop them. Once the freeze is used by a boy, the okay. fight just goes completely in RSG's yeah. favor. Yep, now Geek Fam opting to go for a little bit split push here, not looking to commit to fights against RHBH. They're starting to play for their split push strategy. In this case, Boloisky is going to play that role right now. He's farming up a little bit as a Roma, but guess what? He gets died on Julian, going for the burst, but he survived one HP, his... sidesteps his way through, dodging him, but it's not going to be enough. The damage has been done by Geek oh, Fam! No. They get a tree no. made up from our Why? boy to turn the tides, RHBH. Like, yeah, they commit to this fight, and now Light is going to Triple kill, bro. Triple kill for Gig Fam and RSGPH was not expecting that at all. Now that's a big mistake there from RSG, diving a little bit too deep. Playing a little bit overconfident there because they were already so heavily in the lead and then all just running into the ultimate <laughs> of a boy to get frozen. That time that was bought by the Aurora allowed Gobs to heal back up through the Vengeance spam and actually dish out the necessary damage to pick up a triple kill, immediately shifting the gold over to Geek Fam's side and making this an even game. Oh boy, RSGPH, they've paid the price and now they have to equalize. They're starting to respect what Geek Fam brings to the table, but as of now, it comes down to this one turtle fight. Sky Piercer up on a boy, but Luis nah, is looking Vincent for the deal. He drives away, sidesteps away, takes the turtle, but he's stuck. He's committed. He pops the turquoise, but where's nice the backup? Bang, no backup from Geek Fam. They'll let it through. They'll get the turtle. They lose his life, but guess what? The side lanes are completely shoved on towards RSG PH's towers. And like Kadera like now in a little bit of trouble. He needs to go for a side step. They're coming in to fight, but the wall chat misses from line. And Kadera is able to get out. He's getting poked <laughs> apart, but he won't escape his <laughs> near left. Buys a little bit more time. RSG PH, do they find a kill? Yes, they do. Gops will fall. Geek Fam is starting to find a little bit more space here. RSG trying to force things, making some mistakes, even trying to push down tier one lane. Oh my goodness, penalty zone to try buy a little bit more time as well. Our boy is taking a little bit too much damage. He flickers out to safety, but they somehow defend the middle turret. RSG PhD are getting very desperate. I'm worried if they may be getting a bit too desperate here. The gold difference now not going to be very much. Only 1k for RSGPH, yet it allows them to feel confident enough. Irad actually able to steal an orange buff away from Blood Vincent so and well. like Aqua, yeah? But you have to realize that Geek Fam, as long as they're able to time their windows of entrance properly, they do actually do a good amount of damage. Uh, boy, actually, even going for Blood Wings into Sky Piercer, because wow. he's realizing that he is the one dishing out most of the control and damage in these fights. Oh my goodness, Topside Kodera connects nice the spear and if I Kusei and Geek Fam now looking the to punish the guess. separated members of RSGP Light. He's trying to buy a lot of time, but guess what, Geek Fam? They're just, you know, leaving him to starve as long as they can while they nice. get the maximum value of farm. Ah, boy, yeah, but by doing so, RSGP, they find one at the bottom lane as well. Our ah, boy will go down. Uh, they're not in position to be able to go up and provide backup, so instead they look for a kill on a boy in the bot lane. It's something for RSG, but losing Kusi and Light there are actually quite detrimental considering the timing of the Lord spawning. Unfortunately though, uh, because of the way that the macro has been going, we can see that Beloisky, despite not having the best early game, still contributes a good amount with that Dark Knight Falls, turning off the lights and making it difficult for RSG to actually position themselves across the map. Well, he just got his GDS as well, so that's going to be something that I think RSGPH needs to be a little bit careful where Beloisky may be coming up from a surprise factor. Meanwhile, oh, Lord now, Lord 50% waiting for the right moments, right? Winston gets scouted out by Light, they pop the wall charge to try and stop him in his drag, but it looks like he's not going to get the Lord, but they are all clumped up, a big match for my boy, and here he comes the rest of Gig Fam. They're going to try and finish off the low members here. Kuse first of all, next is Irad. Beloisky gets a double, triple for him. Can he get the Maniac? No, he does not. Stolen away by Kadera, but Gig Fam, in the night, they strike 
They completely shut down RSGPH. They found the right angles and they're able to set up these angles because the lights are just turned off. RSG, they can only choose to commit on the Lord here to make sure that Geek Fam doesn't get it for free. But at what cost? They just allow themselves to be pincered. And Kadera and Valoisky being able to come in from multiple angles to catch off the squishier, low health members of RSG. A boy doing a lot of work for his team right now. This Aurora able to set things up in a team composition that really doesn't have that much initiation. The night is dark and full of terrors. In this case, RSGPH, what do they do? Valoisky out of nowhere just pops off and now they have to play very, very safely here. And finally, we do see a huge gold craft swing in, in favor of Geek Fam. And this is going to put RGPH in a very, very awkward spot. Um, Geek Fam now in control, already getting more towers and structures as well. Uh, personally speaking, RSG Philippines needs to slow things down. They have a composition that is actually not bad at all at healing, especially with the zone control that Zask and Charisla should be providing. <laughs> <them>. <laughs> yes, it's very hard to fight during that Dark Knight Falls, so you really should not be forcing it. You can just scatter, you can take your time, you can back off. You gotta make sure that you're not having multiple players being hit by a boy because that is really costing these fights for them. Well, in this case, they've got the Blood Wings up on Irad to try and sustain throughout all these fights. They are also setting up ambushes for a boy in case... Sorry, they're setting up ambushes for Boloisky in case Boloisky gets a little bit sneaky. But guess what? On the top side, Boloisky saw that. They know, Ooh. but guess what? It Ooh, doesn't Bolo, matter. Bungus, Even if he knows, Light <laughs> is going to make sure he gets caught instantly with the wall charge. Bursts him down, shuts him out. And now they have some breeding room. Uh, pick up on Boloi is actually going to help a lot. Oh, yes, they use a wild charge for it, but without the ability to turn off the lights, it'll be a lot easier for RSG Philippines to actually determine how they want to position for team fights. That's what's been making life difficult for them thus far. But Geek Fam going to make the wise choice, not going to try and force anything, actually going to position a lot more defensively without Boloi to open up the map for them. Too. Oh boy, RSG PH just trying to fight for scraps here. Even though they've got Boloi they finally get to push out the lanes set up for this upcoming Lord fight. And that's something that you can see. Kickfam is already preemptively put that position themselves for it. But RSG say they might look to try and get a tier two or maybe even a free pickoff, but looks like it's not gonna happen. <laughs> RSG going to be able to even up the tower score just a Ooh, little bit here. Zone. Oh, oh okay. missed penalty zone flicker okay. from Nibor. So they have to reset this as well because that is going to be 100 seconds side, uh, on the cooldowns for those flicker up on Nibor. So the next one is going to be light here, 45 seconds. Can they buy it enough time? Because GeekFam, they know they have the advantage now and they're looking to go for a couple of pokes here. Kadera trying to force Shut a couple Kadera, of pokes. Kadera, Kadera, oh no! Watch out, can I get this? And now a big out Wala, by Aurora blunder, blunder. as RSGPH nice gets completely <laughs> peeled apart. They lose everyone and get absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, Winston is going to try and escape this and RSG, they just cannot commit to this fight as well. Kuse is being very sneaky. He's going to review himself but the damage from Kadera hurts so much. He needs to run and kick them. Looks like they will secure the Lord unless Beloisky will TP fall. Slow. No, he Not actually bad, guess, dies yeah. to the glowing one from Aqua. <laughs> but his job is already done. That was clinical coming in from Geek Fam, having Beloisky split push the top lane. And the moment someone comes to deal with him, in this case, Kusi, a very important target. You see, the moment Geek Fam saw the Roger in the top lane, they initiated. They went for the sprite straight away because they knew they had the numbers advantage there. And RG Philippines were just not able to deal with it. The Roger would not have made it back in time to contest the Lord. And Geek Fam made sure to zone out their jungle. So they're able to get that for free. Ini masih aman sih, guys. Karena masih banyak dying, turret, cuy. Game, masih banyak turret dan masih pada hidup, ya. He does not need to survive the fight. He just needs to be there long enough to turn the lights off and be annoying. Well, speaking of annoyance here, RSGPH. They need to play around the Zaz, but in this case, the amount of damage that Kadera is bringing to the table, it, it seems to be very, very difficult to do so. As you can see, Kadera starting to poke her way through. Even the, the demonic spawn just 
I, I'm sorry, the Nightmarish Spa just couldn't even survive barely a couple of seconds because of the damage coming from Kadera. And this is going to be a problem for them as well. Ooh. Lord crashing on the tier trees and Vincent mm, looking for the push. Final Stash tries to drag the boar out of position, but they're not committed yet. They're focusing on the Lord defense. Meanwhile, King Fan making work on towards the tier trees. Light just cannot mm. tank Kadera's damage at all. Kadera is just such a hero right now in the front lines for Gig Fam. We are definitely seeing some really clean execution here though from Gig Fam. I love what they're doing, using the Lord, effectively taking out every inhibitor, not trying to force things out. You can tell that some discipline has been cemented in these players, even if, they, as they put it, is a little bit of a newer lineup. And now Kadera is a massive torn in the side of RSGPH. We know that Moskov is one of the best scaling marksmen in the game, able to 1v5 if the situation is correct for him and geek fam they're all about setting that up they have so many ways of making sure that this moskov will just be able to tear through the ranks of rsg philippines oh boy Loiski, he is gonna try and finish things up for kadera in case there are a couple of stragglers in this case oh, rsgph they're fighting for scraps once more they are gonna have their orange buff jeopardized but as of yet what can they do at this stage because it seems like in terms of timings what are they aiming for in terms of timings, RSG Philippines has already hit a point where they have enough items to actually do a significant amount of damage to Geek Fam. They just need to have better positioning. Again, they gotta be more <laughs> wary about being too forward in the map because the moment that Dark Knight Falls is activated, they need to scramble, right? Because no matter how good you are in your team positioning, it's gonna be very difficult to do oh. so oh, when you can't see anything. Okay, they're looking for the conceal, they're looking for the hunt here. Beloisky, they barely have a good spidey senses here and he does scout things out. So that's gonna be a failed conceal play coming from RSGPH. Meanwhile, GeekFab, they're looking to try and set up the fights here. Beloisky is shoving the lanes up top. Kadera as well, trying mm. to buy time for Beloisky to make the tempo. Aqua looking to recall back into the base here just because of the lanes and GeekFab making atasnya, quick atasnya, work atasnya. on towards the Lord. Half HP. Baloi sedang memasak bot Baloi. Do? Seems like they are in this array. Nibor taking too Set. much damage here. And the spear from Kadera catches Crown. on Iran. And he's in trouble Winter. here. But no! He bought time Winter with the Winter Crown. He sidesteps away, but he needs to get out. Meanwhile, Kadera will make quick work on the rest of the members Set. of RSG. They poke them all bit by Vincent. bit. Dulu, hey, hey, bro Baloi, bro Baloi. Ada guys, guys ya. Seperti itulah guys ya. Pemandangan kita ke Bro Baloi pakai health card ya guys ya. Mati lampu, push line, selesai guys. <laughs> Lutu memang Baloi guys ya. Emang health card ini diberikan buat Baloi guys. Dibuat untuk Baloi ya guys ya. Oke lah, kita lanjut ke game yang kedua guys ya. Thank you guys semuanya. Bye bye.